Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Aries. And this is going to be a weekend check-in for you. This is going to be from the 22nd of December to the 24th of December. After this set of videos, the next set of videos, it'll be the week ahead. And then after that, it'll be an overview for January 2025. And then I'll get back on track or whatever is planned. So let's see what messages we have for you, Aries. Aries, this is for the weekend of the 22nd to the 24th of December. Aries. And I hope I said Aries when I started. I'll be using my fairy tarot cards and then I will be pulling a card or two from my Angel and Auras Oracle deck, okay? So Aries, this is for you. The three of autumn, follow your passion when it comes to your career. Be the best at what you do. Being compensated for your creative talents. Also, I like to say the universe working on something for you and you can't stop it. The ace of autumn, some kind of new financial um, financial windfall, maybe a new job, a promotion. A windfall of money or maybe getting assistance from others but I always look at it as something um, something financial coming into your life a very successful project a happy change in your career the ace of autumn promotion you you know new job a whole new job could be something please remember take what resonates and leave what does not Remember, I deliver these messages to you guys with my heart. All right, darlings? All right. So next, next card is the Ace of Winter. You have some mental clarity about something. Don't be deterred by the challenges along the way. The Ace of Winter. Then you have the Nine of Summer. This is in the past. Not too long ago, your wishes were fulfilled says, wishes came true, your dreams fulfilled, a magical time in your life, not too long ago. The nine of summer. Then the dreamer. A new beginning for you. Embrace your true purpose, begin a new adventure, and trust yourself. The sun, your plans are working out perfectly. And it brings you a lot of happiness. And then we got the three of summer here. This, you got news that's worth celebrating. So there's going to be some kind of celebration here. We got the three of summer. Then you got the ace of summer. You need to open up your heart to love. Come on now. The beginning of a new intimate relationship or the rebirth of a current one. And it's all, it also could mean the awakening of your psychic abilities. So however, whichever way it resonates with you, okay? You got the Ace of Summer. Then we have the Seven of Summer. No more procrastinating. All right? Time for that is gone. Your powers come, your powers come from making a decision. And you might, don't overanalyze it. You might have choices, 
okay? Don't stay too long on anything and get stuck. You got the seven of summer. You might miss some opportunities, okay? Then you have the balance card. Take everyone's input into consideration. Maybe you're merging some ideas with someone. I mean, <laughs> this is either the resurgence of that relationship or something, or maybe this love brought balance back into your environment. We got the balance card. Then life experience. The king of winter and the seven of winter. Now, the life experience is letting go of things that are no longer are working for you, okay? It's a life-changing situation that leads to a significant opportunity. And then we got the king of winter here. And that could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. But it's an unemotional relationship, okay? Then you got the seven of winter. You're not seeing things clearly. And it seems like if you're running away from the truth, that's what the card says. So I don't know however that resonates with you, okay? So you got, if there was some kind of life experience with this energy, this energy is not a, a, an emotional um, relationship or anything like that. Um, it also says that you might have gotten some professional advice from someone. You might have just had something um, with public speaking. So however that resonates with you, okay, babies? You got life experience, you got the king of winter, and you got the seven... Of winter. <clears throat> Ooh, you got a little conflict around you. What's going on? You got the five of winter. The five of winter says, walk away from this, this honest association. This honest associations. Realizing that you thought that what you thought you wanted isn't the best choice for your happiness. Something that's not worth the effort. And it could also mean conflict, okay, in your environment. Then we have the Princess of Autumn. Happy news about your career. I mean, there's some kind of promotion or something going on. Uh, career promotions or scholarships. Well thought out plans that go perfectly. Needing a little push to get things going. And then you got the Eight Autumn. Do more research before making a decision, okay? Now, you had gotten the seven of, um, you had gotten the seven, where is it? The seven of summer here. So, choices. You're going to have a long-term project. Okay, you got the five of winter, the princess of autumn, and the eight of autumn. concentrating on something and then you got the prince of summer there's some kind of love coming up here so some, something to do with love the prince of summer there's some some kind of romantic things coming towards you you're being you're gonna be you're gonna be swept off your feet but you're gonna need to stay grounded in this very emotional experience all right <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. All right. So whatever the experience was, it did have to do with the heart. It did. It had to do with the heart. All right. There might have been a little heartbreak. Maybe there was someone else involved somewhere. I'm not sure. But whatever it is, it looks like forgiveness is on, is on its way or forgiveness is happening right now. Okay. And the, then like there was a recommitment to each other. Um, I got the star card, and that's why I say that, because that's like the most beautiful card in the deck. Look at the future with hope and optimism. The power of faith to move mountains. Happy changes that bring relief from your challenging times. So you got the princess, the prince of summer, the three of winter, and the star card. So let's see. I couldn't just leave it there, you know. I wanted to see a little bit more. Nice. Here. 
self-respect and worthiness and point of view. Self-respect and worthiness, self-worth, affirmations, independent and motivated. And point of view, gratitude, assistance, guidance and understanding. So card 35. Self-respect and worthiness. Your self-confidence and power ex are expanding due to your commitment to positive self-talk and the use of affirmations. The universe is delivering more encouragement and motivation to you now than ever before. Because of this energy shift, you can expect doors to open, deeper connections, the deeper connections to develop, and the natural divine energy of joy to fill your life. And then you got point of view, card number 30. Gratitude, assistance, guidance, and understanding. Congratulations on your ability to see the positive in all situations in your life. Your connection to the divine is powerful and your faith is strong. The angels are encouraging you to keep this positive momentum of a grateful heart in all aspects of your existence. You see how things work out in life? Things don't stay the same, okay? Just remember to open up your heart. Strive to be the best version of you. Give love, okay? Give love. Give a, a loving thought to someone, you know? Be grateful. I love you and I will chat with you soon. Do all things with good intent, okay, baby?